Hi, it's Phil. Hi, I'm Gary. And we're today, for a point of podiatry, going to talk to you about diabetes and how it can affect your feet. So, we get a lot of patients every week who come in and sit in our clinic uh, to see us, and they are not sure why they're there to see us. Um, they know they've had diabetes, they know that their GP has sent them across to us, and we are here today to solve um, that mystery for you. Um, so, Jeremy, diabetes can cause foot problems. So, um, what's the first thing that we check for when we see someone with diabetes? Yeah, so first thing we can check is um, sort of their vascular, so circulation um, in their foot and their legs. Um, and I guess move to the second thing. Yeah, sure. But particularly, um, yeah, another important thing is their nerve health. Um, yeah, yeah, so m those, those main two. Um, yes, so okay. every patient we see with diabetes, they're the two things that we're mostly talking about. Um, Diabetes causes damage to the blood vessels because the high high levels of blood sugar um, actually cause and they speed uh, speed up that atherosclerosis, which is the damage to the blood vessel walls. So that can turn into less blood flow getting down to your feet, and uh, high blood sugar levels also can affect the nerves. So we get a condition called, as Jeremy said, neuropathy, which is when you can't feel your feet. Um, and before it becomes a full neuropathy or full numbness, it, it starts as a sort of a pins and needles or a burning sensation. So this picture here is to sort of explain that, that sensation that our patients sometimes get. Yeah. Uh, so Jeremy, what's the risk if, if a patient has poor blood flow and poor um, feeling in their feet, what's, what's a risk of them developing problems? What sort of problems will they get? Yeah, so to put it like a uh, practical sense, you know, someone who has, you know, lack of, sensation at the bottom of their foot, um, which means, you know, they could step on something in their backyard, not even realise. Um, of course, if you get a cut or a graze to your foot, you know, you need to take care of it. So yeah. um, part of that, your body does that as well. So that's through, you know, good, healthy blood flow. Um, if there's, you know, lack of circulation there, that can lead to, you know, poor healing. Um, and like, what we use our feet for, we walk around on it. That's right. So unfortunately, places such as this um, area, just at the ball of your feet, that's where a lot of contact comes into the ground. Um, so that's just another extra thing your body has to kind of cope with. So yeah, lack of feeling the feet can lead to uh, just a cascade of events such as, unfortunately, yeah, this foot here. Yeah. So a wound like this can be pretty hard to heal, Jeremy? Yeah. yeah. It's um, prevention is better than cure. So if your GP, if your doctor uh, right, gives you a care plan to come and see us, we may not have to do anything to your foot that day, but what we're able to do is assess your risk status and give you advice to manage your feet in a way that doesn't lead to this. So we actually wanna prevent these sort of um, diabetic foot ulcers from happening and that's our, that's our job really. Uh, if you do develop a wound, we will also be involved in helping to offload the wound and to, um, yeah, to help get you back on track. But once you develop a wound, it's always a high-risk area for developing again. So I've said it already, but uh, prevention is better than cure. Um, so there's certain assessments that we do. Uh, Jeremy and I are going to do a video in a couple of days on what we actually do to a, for a patient when they come to see us. So keep an eye out for that. But otherwise, I reckon that's enough for the day. Yeah. Yeah, awesome. Okay, see you later everyone. See ya.